Let's start the family feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dalton. Hi. <laughs> Same people, aren't they? You pr promise me, if you're gonna stay for more than one show, you'll either bring a change of clothes, <laughs> or you'll exchange clothes with the person next to you. <laughs> the Chaps Trailer! Bam! <laughs> Fine, how much did you win, Al? $5,392. Better than flying plane. You bet. You bet. Let's meet everybody, Chris. Certainly. I have my wife, Jean. Hello, Richard. Darling. Daughter, Catherine. Hello. Hi. Catherine's husband, Larry. Larry. Hi. And my daughter, Mary Lou. Hi. Hi, cutie pie. <laughs> you recall how you met? Uh, Jean and I? Yeah. Oh, yes. She was dating one of my best friends. <laughs> was it serious? I don't know. Don't really care at this point. <laughs> but what did you do? Did you do anything sneaky to get her attention? Uh, no, just, I was just my usual charming self. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your story, Gene? <laughs> uh, you were dating his, uh, one of his best friends mm -hmm. and you sort of liked the look of this guy? Well, he promised me he was going to stay in San Diego. And that's where we live, separately, yeah. at the time. And uh, so we got engaged, and he got orders to Japan. <laughs> that's <laughs> usual, isn't sneaky. it? Sure. <laughs> the serviceman breaks her heart and then flies to the continent, or the... Uh, the island. The yeah. island. Somewhere. I went, too. Oh, did you? Yeah. Now, she's smarter than the average bear, yeah. That's the smart thing to do. Uh, the Goulds are here, and they want to challenge you. Make them feel at home. Who you got with you here, Doc? Well, I've got my wife, MJ. Hello, sweetie. Bye. My daughter, Piper. Hello. Her husband, Mark. Marco. And our baby, Carrie. Hello, Richard. Hello, Carrie. <laughs> what a nice looking family here. Oh, I'm very really proud of them. Now, is this it or any other rascals running around? There's a Jeff. Uh, he's not here tonight. No, but. but uh... He's in between Piper and Carrie. I mean, probably yeah, very yeah. happy with that position. <laughs> I know I would be. Uh, sorry, uh, Mark. I didn't mean to be rude. Uh, how old is Jeff? Jeff is 26. Very good. And uh, <laughs> what does he do? You're I'm doing... glad she's here. Oh, no, you're doing yeah. fine. What, what is Jeff? Jeff is in construction right now. And you are? In the beginning of it. I'm a banker. Are you? Yeah. Where? With First Interstate Bank, manager of a branch on Wilshire Boulevard. Downtown? You want to come and see yeah. you. Say hello. Okay. You ready to play this? We sure are. We're going to play the feud. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, I tried the whole way just to get there. You know, it's 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. You've got to try and find the most popular answer. And here's the question. Name something men do before going on a date. Oh. Shave. Hey, shave. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Right. We'll play. We're going to play. Let's play it. That's probably how you got Gene. You shaved. <laughs> you got it. The other guy was uh, unshaven. What would you think men do before going on a date? They get dressed up. Okay. Good answer, Paul. They get dressed up. Right. Yeah. Right. As my grandmother would say, they become fancy dens. <laughs> mm. What do men do, Madonna, before they go out on a date? Well, I hope they take a shower. Who do I? Right. Clean mind, clean body. Take your pick. Shower. What do you say, Lark? I'd say I put some good cologne on. Yes, yeah, good. Good answer. An evening in West Covina? Cologne! Oh, How are you doing, Marilyn? Oh, pretty good. What they, do you think guys do before they go out on a date? They buy her a gift. A gift? <laughs> Not that. Well, what do guys do? before going on a date. Check the money in their wallets. Okay. Yeah. 
Make sure they have enough money. <laughs> no. Oh. Pretty Jane. How about wash the car? Good, eh? Good, eh? Okay. They're okay. okay, and if not third strike, they wash the car? <laughs> no. $83. Uh, Doug, come on down here. Give me an answer. Okay. Flowers. Um, flowers. Um, no, we had gosh. we had a gift, and that included all flowers. Oh, yeah. What do you say? Yeah. We're going to be worried about breath, so we'll say mouthwash. Yeah. Brush your smart. teeth. There's a smart cookie there. <laughs> Little uh, mouthwash time. If it's there, you get the $83. If not, you get it hell. Mouthwash. Got a good game here, the banker versus the pilot. We'll be back right after this. We wish you a Betty White Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> I needed that. It's a stocking full of Betty. All this week, starting at noon, only on Buzzer. Let's play. Nothing. Let's go. <laughs> How are you? Are you yes, nice to see you. 100 people survey top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something made to guard against fires. Yes. Fire alarm. A fire alarm. Okay. Right okay. <laughs> what are you going to do? We're going to play, Richard. Okay. Did you hurt... Did you hurt your hand? No. Oh, I saw you hit that. You didn't hurt your hand. I gotta be careful. There's a lot of lawsuits going on. <laughs> How about fireproofing on clothes? All right. Fireproofing. <laughs> no, not that. Larry, what would you say? I'd say uh, fireproof material used in building, like uh, fire retardant walls. Fire retardant walls? Oh, All right. right. What do you need to guard against fire? A uh, fire extinguisher. Good oh, girl. Good answer. A fire extinguisher. Oh, right. Mary, well, you're so smart. Hal? Asbestos shingles for roofs. All righty. Good answer. That's shingles good. for roofs. Oh, yeah. What would you say, pretty? Firemen. Good answer. Maybe it's exactly what they do. Yeah. Firemen? <laughs> no. Too hip for the room, that answer. It was a good either. Something made to guard against fires. Fire hydrant? Ooh, Ooh, all right, if it's there, okay. If not, third strike. Hydrant? <laughs> no. $87. Big lead if you give me the right answer. Careful, careful. Don't want you sprinkler, falling sprinkler down. Sprinkler system. Sprinkler, 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 sprinkler system. Something made to guard against fires, huh? Sprinkler system. All right, sir. If it's there, you get a big lead in the game. If not, it's going to be very even. Sprinkler! Oh! I saw the hose pipe. Hose pipe? Five? Oh, a screen. All right. The banker's got all the money. Well, don't they always? We'll be back right after this. <laughs> There's a project. You ready to tackle this? Emmy Award winning This Old House is your go-to resource for home improvement expertise and renovation advice. This is quite a project. And now we set up shop on the Roku channel. You want to go check it out? So whether you've got ambitious renovation plans or just some repairs you've been putting on, count on our trusted experts to walk you through every step of the process. Perfect. Catch new episodes of This Old House and Ask This Old House every Monday only on the Roku channel. Let's get to work.
Doug, you got all the money. 170. Hell, nothing. I need you. Come on, guys. <laughs> Can I ask you what those big lips are doing over there? Richard, those are for you because we know that you love to get kisses. Uh, hold on a second. Well, thank you. Uh, first time a banker ever gave me anything. <laughs> and it was a Except kiss. a cold shoulder. Did you make this? Uh-huh. Is that the biggest kiss you've ever it gotten? It sure is. Good. That's pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. You can use it as a pillow, Richard. Right. Yeah. Or a guillotine. Right. right. <laughs> or a quick impression. Hello. <laughs> a bow tie. A boomerang. <laughs> Thank you. It's really soft. Yeah. Uh, she'll uh, keep it here near me. Well, you're married, aren't you? Yeah. I better put it down. Better put it down. <laughs> well, because no, if you get control of this, I've got to go and say hello to Mark next. That's he might right. get testy. I like it. 100 people survey, top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a place you can go free of charge. The uh, park. The park. Right you got All it. Right. What are you going to do? Let's play. We'll play. We're going to play. Well done. Question is, name a place you can go free of charge. Free of charge. Get up there. Can't believe it, man. We'd have the nerve to say that. Lonnie! Yeah. I'd say the beach. Sure. Yeah. The beach. Oh. I don't know a beach where you have to pay. Maybe you do in the east or somewhere. I don't know. You have to pay for parking to get at the beach. But yeah. uh, Well, of course, it's not there. What the hell are we talking about, Larry? Yeah. It's all over. The judges have ruled. And, uh... You have to die in the morning. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be pressing. <laughs> Place you can go for your charge. How about the mountains? Yeah. Yeah. Go to visit the mountains. <laughs> oh, no, I, I heard they do charge for that now. They're very strict. So I think one mountain per dollar. <laughs> mm. Try museums. All right. All right. All right. That's there, okay. And if not, third strike. Museum. Well done. Well, thank you, Hal. Although those weren't the uh, silly answers they gave me, they just didn't make it. Where can you go free of charge? To school. Okay. okay. All right. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is there okay? If not, a great school. Go. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well done. We can't keep being this lucky yet. Uh, church. 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 Where can you go for your church? We're going to go with church. Church. All righty. If that's there, you do have an enormous lead. And if not, you're in the game hell with $51. Church. <laughs> Number two. Five. Zoo. Well, they charge us in the zoo. Well, maybe not where this was taken. Of course, I can't mention where it was. 221, nothing. Let's go. <laughs> All right, boss. Let me see you. Didn't you get my note about not wearing pinstripe gray? <laughs> Good Lord alive. Here we go. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something that is usually inside out after you take it off. Right. Shirt. Shirt. Hey, all right. Okay. Two answers will beat it. A uh, jacket. A jacket. <laughs> you got control. What are you going to do? Play. Let's play it. Play. Let's play. It. I'm sure I saw Larry in a pirate film once, didn't I? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, da -dee, da -dee, da -dee. Uh, you betrothed, are you? I'm married. It's almost the same thing. <laughs> uh, what's usually inside out after you take it off? Your socks. Good, Good answer! Socks! Yeah. Underwear, Richard. Good answer, Dad. 
You're trying to excite me, aren't you, Hal? <laughs> Underwear? Come on, Jeannie, you're the champs. Get into this game now. Sweater. A sweater, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Good. yeah. Good. If it's their doll and you got it all, if not first strike, a sweater. <laughs> now we got a game. 221, 184, let's go. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. Nice okay. to see you. Hey, that's pretty. Thank you. Uh, very nice. Uh, so are you pretty. Thank you. So am I. Well, I was. <laughs> you are. About eight or nine years ago, I started to fade heavily. <laughs> Dollar values are tripled. This will decide it. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name an occupation in which people are seen by appointment. Yeah. Doctor. Pardon? Doctor. The doctor. Yeah. You got it? What are you going to do? Play, play. Very good. <laughs> Listen carefully now. Here we go. I will read it once. Name an occupation in which people are seen by appointment. Doc. Doctor's been set up, but I'll say a dentist. Dentist. <laughs> Got three seconds. An attorney. An attorney. Good answer. Piper. Get your hair cut. So a beautician or a... Good, good. If it's there, you're the champs. Beautician? <laughs> we can go out without a fight. We got $184 plus 5,392. Not bad for about an hour's work. Good. Hope you had a nice yeah, time. Very yeah, much so, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. Nice thank you very people. much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. You made me a kiss. Buzzer Academy of Hosting presents Tossing to Commercial. We'll be back. We'll be back first. This. Keep it right here on Buzzer.
You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. You were married, Ringo? No, I'm not. Mm. <laughs> Congratulations, you just won $10,000. Bring out the next person. That was easy. Uh, yeah, and it'll get easier as it goes along. Uh, give us 15 seconds for Carrie, please. Name something that all teenagers are anxious to try. Driving. A fast-paced sport. Motorcycle racing. Besides a bird, something in a bird cage. A perch. A long-haired breed of dog. Afghan. A colorful holiday. Christmas. Very good. <laughs> Turn around. Come back. Oh, she, I knew she'll come crawling back. <laughs> How could you leave me? It's the first sorry. time we were alone I'm, together. I'm fickle. <laughs> oh, if you're fickle, I'm grumpy. This is Doc. <laughs> Happy and sleepy. Name something all teenagers are anxious to try, you said. Driving, sir, they said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fast pace sport, you said. Motorcycle. Survey said. Oh. Zero. Besides a bird, something in a bird cage. A perch. That's a fish, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> Survey said. Twelve. Long haired breed of dog. Survey. Fourteen. Double holiday. Christmas. And the survey said. Oh, oh, very good. Thank you. Right next to Pop. We're looking for MJ. Come on, Mama. Right there. They just ruined your entrance. Just as you were walking in, going to get a lovely shot of you, but no, Doug had to walk really? in front Is of he that camera. Me? Mm, kiss me. It's been the Boy, story I of my hate. life Has for 30 really? years, Frank. I'll take you away from all of this. Okay. <laughs> now, if you don't like West Covina, you'll tell me. <laughs> right. Wish you luck. Thank you. All you need is 83 points. Please remind everyone the answers that Carrie gave us. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something that all teenagers are anxious to try. Smoking. A fast-paced sport. Motorcycle racing. Try again. Racing cars. Uh, besides a bird, something in a bird cage. Oh, a perch. Try again. A, uh, cuddlestone. <laughs> cuddlestone, all right. Long-haired breed of dog. Uh, collie. <laughs> Collie, all right. I can't, we can't do any more on that, but uh, here we go. Something all teenagers are anxious to try, you said. Smoking, survey said. 20. <laughs> driving, driving number one. Fast-paced sport. And I was hoping that you'd be sort of excited, even though I don't follow it that much. The Kings, you know, uh, won. Oh, Hockey was number one. You said race cars, survey said. 17. Besides birds, something in a bird cage. Number one answer was bird seed or food. You said that cuddle bone, that's what they sharpen their beaks on, right? It was spelt with two T's, but who's counting? Survey said. Zero. Long haired breed of dog. You said. Collie. Number one answer. It was worth 46 points. You got it. Survey said. 34. <laughs> Colorful holiday was the last one. You ran out of time on that. Christmas was number one. But the main thing is, you're the chance. You got $188, $5 for every point. Total up, $940. And we will return. You did okay. <laughs>
imagine this? Just because they said Cuttlestone, nobody wanted to come up. I thought they did good. We'll see you here on The Feud. Bye-bye. Some departing contestants receive infants and children's wear from Spencer's, a name that has meant quality and value to mothers for over 50 years. A great selection of fashion right shoes from Kinney, the great American shoe store. Who can bring you all the latest styles at down-to-earth prices? Kinney can. A master mechanic, 10-gallon shop back from True Value Hardware Stores, who combine value and personal service in over 5,000 locations nationwide. The beautiful way to combine value and performance. Pepperell carpet, designed to live on and on. Another fine product from West Point Pepperell. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, Bill Tudman Productions.